Daran, 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 dan 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 daran dan dan daran dan 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 daran dan 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 dan. What you doing? Oh, oh, what? But I just. Nope. Finally, something that's less creepy than that aquarium we went to. And also, you, you just interrupted what I was doing. The intimidation of the Jaws theme because you didn't even use it in the last video. I was worried I was going to get sued for copyright. Besides, we're already on the run from the authorities for illegal actions, so we may as well, so we may as well find another, we may as well find other ways that do, that doesn't involve us getting in trouble with the law more. And you want to know what's with the dog? Wait. Well, this is actually my brother's dog. His name's Pacino. Where'd you get him? Uh, I asked my brother's permission to give him for a walk and he said go right ahead. Does he know? Yes. So anyway. oh, about of what we're doing. He doesn't mind. So what's the big deal? And we're also, on the run from the authorities. And also Pacino doesn't like you because you killed me in the in our power of four. So thank you, Mr. Psycho. Whatever. Hey, speaking of which uh, hello everyone, this is Brock McGinnis, and Dean here with another, uh, review. Uh, and this one being, uh, Jaws the Revenge. More like Jaws... The... Jaws the fucking boring-ass soap opera. Uh, yeah, let's recap. The original Jaws is a classic. The, the second, second one, one is decent, but not as good as the original. We already know what we thought of the third one, because that one was bad with the terrible 3D. And now with the fourth? It's... What the hell did... Yeah, what the hell did we watch? I mean, this one is even worse than the third one. And some pretty boy named, like, Jack Buchanan, or however or however you pronounce it, says that it's better than Jaws 3. Are you fucking kidding me? At least with Jaws 3, there's some consistency. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry, Jack, but Jaws of Revenge didn't do anything for us. And neither did you. Anyway. So, so what, what makes this one bad? For the record, it's boring as shit. The... The continuity is inconsistent. The story is inconsistent for uh, and, and for none of other are, reasons. And the characters are even worse than the ones we had in the in the third one. Yeah, and these are the same characters that we saw from the previous film. And, and that should tell you something. And also about the one the one character that the the the, the, the deputy the way he was killed by the shark was just <laughs> he was just overacting the way he was killed. And not to mention, it was downright predictable. Yeah. And, and also, the, the mo I really liked the, the, the mother character in the first film, but she was so out of character in, in this one. And she has <sighs> some strange superpowers of sensing dangerous sharks for some reason. Uh, and heck, Michael Caine's in the movie. As Hoagie. Hoagie. Is that even a real name? I don't know, it was the, it was the character, it was the name of number two from Codename Kids Next Door, but if you ask me, it's a worse name than Abraham from, from Ape vs. Monster. Whoa! Sorry, there was a bee on me, but any, anyway, what, what, what? Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, it's so boring, and also there's these dream sequences that are just fake-outs. Yeah. And don't get us started on the, and don't get us started on uh, the original protagonist of the first movie. And that guy's dead. Uh, yeah, and he died from the fear of the shark, and... But, don't you remember in the first film, he... He fought... Yeah, he fought the shark, not once, but twice. Oh, not to mention... Another problem... Jaws the Revenge has some serious Episode 3 vibes. Yeah. Yeah, and we're not gonna... Get into the... About that, and... And also, the film takes itself way too seriously. Just... Lighten the hell up, for God's sake! Yeah, I mean, I've seen Lifetime original movies be more convincing than that schlock. And... Oh yeah, another thing... We just saw, saw of how the shark... dies. Uh, oh yeah, there were... There were, uh... There were two versions of how the shark dies. The, the one... It, it, one that Jack had was... Got, got, gets impaled and sinks... to the bottom of the ocean. But guess what? The one that we saw... He's impaled and exploded. And they used stock footage from the first movie of it shaking with in the disembodied head. Lazy writing. And 
and uh, and also the there's a stereotype in the character that which I go go, go. they're Jamaican stereotypes and, and the only thing that would just the only thing that would add salt to the open wound would be if it if they killed him off but he but somehow he just survived we don't even know how he survived he was bitten God, my and also it's, it's all so full of plot holes yeah I mean plot holes oh yeah and, and, and you know oh my god and for, do a favor just avoid the sequel and just go see the original yeah just see the original or or Jaws 2 if you're curious but aside from that uh, yeah this film sucks yeah, and like, also, really sucky. And also, can we maybe just end this on a happy note, please? Uh, probably. Because you, you, early, because you said you want to end this on a happy note, remember? Well, yeah, that is if the feds aren't on to us. So, so, should we say, say something a little not, nice then? Well... So, so, yeah, again, this film is a disgrace, and... Also, do you think we should have a Jaws 5? No. Oh, come on. It could work. It could be better than the fourth. No, it couldn't. You yeah. Didn't, yeah, the, the sequel did enough damage and, uh, wait. Hey! No. What? Run to us. Let's go. What? Let's just break this point. Signing off and now we're going to rest your day. <laughs>